One, two, three. <laughs> Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and I'm very excited about today's lesson. It's a student request, but it's a tune that I've been very excited about teaching for quite a while. And it's Superstition by Stevie Wonder. Uh, so for this lesson, you'll need a harmonica in the key of A. Um, and we're playing in second position, which means that the song is in the key of E. Now, if you try playing this along with Stevie Wonder's original track, you'll find that it doesn't sound right. And the reason is that he's actually playing in the key of E flat. So you'd need an A flat harmonica. But I figure most of you will have an A harmonica. So get started with that. And then if you're really serious about playing it, maybe get an A flat harmonica as well. So there are four main licks to this. Uh, I'm going to play them each uh, individually and then talk you through them uh, as we go. And there'll be tabs up on screen to help you through it. Um, so before the first lick actually starts, we have what's known as a pickup phrase. And so a pickup is just a few notes that start before the lick. So I'm just going to play that quickly for you. Starts just after beat three. One, two, three. I'm going to play it much cleaner than that. One, two, three. Okay, so all that is, is one blow, one draw, two draw, whole step bend, up to the clean two draw. Okay, so let's just do that one more time together. One, two, three. Okay, and that just is at the beginning of the of the whole tune. And then we get into the main lick, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is a lick of two halves. So I'm gonna show you the first half uh, first, how to play it. So we've got two draw down to a two draw whole step bend, up to the clean two draw, three draw half step bend, two draw whole step bend. So let's just try that. Okay, and you'll notice that we started after beat one, so it actually starts on the off beat. Uh, let's try that one more time, one. And then we have a do, 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 so that's two blow, two draw, whole step bend, up to the two draw. So this is the first half of the lick. Let's try that together. One. Okay, so you might find that those last three notes are a little bit quick, so you might need to practice just doing. Before you can get a. Okay, they're 16th notes, so they're, they're gonna be pretty quick. Second half of this phrase is very similar to the first. It sounds like this. So all we have is the start of the phrase is different. So we have one blow, one draw, and then everything carries on as before. So one blow, one draw, two draw, whole step bend, two draw, three draw, half step bend, two draw, whole step bend, and then that kooky little 16th note, two blow, two draw, whole step bend, two draw. So I'll do that nice and slowly, just the second half of the lick. Three, four. Okay, let's put them both together. And so tabs beneath me on screen, so I'm gonna be going quite quickly through this. You can always go back and work on it nice and slowly. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that, that lick is, is the mother of all licks in that, in that whole song. Everyone recognizes it. And you repeat it eight times before you go into the second lick, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so this has some pretty quick playing. It's pretty tasty. Uh, so we're going to break it down into tiny chunks. Your first chunk is two draw, two draw, whole step bend, two draw. Okay, so starts just after beat one. And then my favorite part of this, which actually took me quite a bit of time to get comfortable with, is a 16th note run. So remember a 16th note is a note that lasts for a quarter of a beat. So we have four 16th notes in a row. So that means that they are gonna last a quarter of a beat each. So all together, this unit will last for one beat. It goes like this. Okay, so that's 
one blow, one draw half step bend up to the one draw and then two draw whole step bend. So the way that I would practice this to start with, because I don't think you'll get it straight away, I didn't get it straight away, is I would play it as quarter notes. I'd break it down, just that little portion, and do. And then speed it up, and then you can maybe do an eighth note. And then when you're happy with it, try it with 16th notes. Okay, so let's add the, that to the first chunk. So we have one. Okay, and then one draw, two draw, two draw is the next little block. So because we've got two, two draws in a row, it's quite hard to say, two, two draws in a row, you're gonna enunciate them uh, by saying two, two. Okay, so, and that's just after beat four. So, okay, so practice all this slowly. I think you're gonna need to spend a bit of time doing this slowly. So let's put those three blocks together. So it starts just after beat one. One. Okay, and when you're comfortable with that, we have a little response. So this is, that's the call and the response is, So starting exactly the same, two draw, two draw, whole step bend, two draw, and then the, the change that comes for the response is four draw, three draw, half step bend, two draw, okay? Okay, so let's put all of that lick two together and play it nice and slowly. So I'm gonna count in, and remember you're starting just after beat one. So I'll do one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> Okay, pause the video and go back if you need to, play over and over that, um, because that, that's a really fast phrase to play, because at speed it's going to be... <laughs> but I promise you it is worth putting the time in, because it's very satisfying to play. And now we're getting to slightly easier in terms of playing quickly, uh, but a little bit harder in terms of pitching of bends. So lick three sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're sitting on that three draw and we're bending it and releasing it and bending it again. Uh, so you're starting on the three draw whole step bend. then taking it up to the half step bend, and then bringing it down to the whole step bend, and then taking it to the two draw. And on that two draw, you're gonna swell. So you're actually playing that two draw for six beats. So that's one and a half bars. So you're gonna swell the volume, and then finally culminate on that stab on the three draw. So the three draw half step bend. So by stab, I mean a note that's kind of hit very uh, staccato, and it's the bit that goes, Ba, ba, ba. So the drum's going da da da. Everything is hitting that. That's why it's called a stab. So let's try that nice and slowly together, all the way through lick three. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I got so excited about doing hand gestures that I really did a very wet stab there. That's what you want. So using your tongue as you're pulling back on that three draw half step bend. Let's just try that one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's lick three. And then now the final lick, lick four. We've got some tasty octaves for you. So one, two, three, four. Okay, sorry, my harmonica is starting to sound a little bit out of tune. I apologize for that. Yours will sound much better. So, we're starting on a 3 6 blow octave and we're holding that for a whole bar. Then you're coming down to the 2 5 draw octave, then the 2 5 blow octave, 
one four draw octave, and then back up to the two five draw. Oh, sorry, two five blow. Now don't be confused if the two five draw sounds a little bit weird because it's not actually an octave. It's what's known as a flat seven. So that means that the two draw isn't the same note as the five draw. Uh, the two draw uh, is the root note and the five draw is the flat seventh. So it's a very bluesy sounding interval. And then you come straight back to a clean two hole draw right at the end of that lick. So let's just try that lick all the way through. You've got the tab beneath you. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you should, should recognize that. That's the, the kind of horn line in it. So now that you've got all the way through the lesson, uh, if you want to get the full tab sheet for this, just go in the description below and click the link to get to my website where you can get uh, the tab sheet, you can download it, and you can also get access to the audio files that I've done of each of these licks. So you can practice playing them slowly with me. Um, and that'll make it a lot easier to put the whole thing together. And uh, now you can do something for me. You can hit the like button if you're watching this on YouTube and subscribe to my channel because I put out a new lesson every single Wednesday. I wouldn't want you to miss that. And uh, now I'm going to play you out. I'm going to play you through each of those licks consecutively. And I'll see you next week. So, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you next week.